and allow yourself to settle in. And allow yourself to connect in with your breath. Remembering that our breath is our connection to life. When we breathe deeply, we bring oxygen to our blood and to our brain. When we breathe deeply, we bring oxygen to all the muscles, tendons, ligaments, and tendons within. When we breathe deeply, we allow our body to function more fluidly. Taking a long, slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Allowing the belly, torso and chest to expand and contract. Allowing yourself to envision the expansive being that you are with this breath. Taking another long, slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Being present in your body. Noticing any spaces that are speaking to you more than the others. And simply allowing your attention to go there and maybe guiding your breath into these spaces. <clears throat> and as you take another long, slow, deep breath, I invite you to imagine roots sprouting from beneath you. Maybe you are able to imagine the tree that you are. Maybe it's a banyan tree. Maybe it's an old oak tree. Maybe it's a tall pine. Again, I remind you, there is no right or wrong in this meditation today. Simply imagining tree roots sprouting from beneath you and flowing deep into the earth below with each breath in and each breath out. Feeling yourself grounded and connected. Inviting your guides, masters, angels, source, Mother Earth and our higher selves. Inviting them to work through us and to support us on our journey today in community and healing. Setting the intention of letting go of what no longer serves. People, places, experiences. Setting the intention, intention to allow the process. And as you feel yourself grounding into your foundation with these roots, I invite you to imagine your light within, a beautiful ball of light shining bright at the center of your belly. Being aware of the color of this light within you. Being aware of how the color and the light feel for you now in this moment. And now surrounding yourself 
in a beautiful bubble of safe and sacred space. Allowing everything outside of this bubble to be in existence. While allowing all of your focus to remain within. Remembering the beauty in the process of letting go and allowing.
being aware of any spaces in your body where energies have been released. Imagining these spaces being filled with a beautiful golden light. And imagine as this light moves through your body with your breath, touching each and every cell of your being. Remembering this breath is our connection to life and remembering this light within. Remembering your light within. Feeling your roots again beneath your body. Feel these roots deeply connecting you into the earth. Providing you foundation and direction. Anchoring you and aligning you in your purpose. Taking a long, slow, deep inhalation. Feeling into your foundation a little more. Breathing into your body a little more. Remembering the truth of you. Healed and whole. As you always were. And as you always will be. Healed and whole. Taking a moment to honor yourself and express your deepest gratitude to you. for showing up, for being present, and for allowing yourself to let go. I invite you to gently move your way back into this space and time. And if you feel comfortable, turn on your cameras and share to your screen or in the chat as you come back to this space. Thank you, Jessica. That, um, that was definitely, it was definitely needed. Yay. <laughs> I, um, I don't get to lay down and do the whole thing because I'm, you know, doing the moderating, but behind the scenes, <laughs> behind the scenes. But, um, something came into my mind during this whole thing and it was my new ways of being do not align with my old mindset. That just came through very clearly for me. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. Um, that's been coming up for me this last week too. It's like been my whole year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some a little lessons. more intensely this last part of the year. <laughs> like the universe is giving us that lovely push, that encouragement to really let go of those old patterns and old ways of being, seeing, doing, speaking, and looking forward into how we can connect with people and communities who are more aligned with where we're at now presently, because you've changed a lot in the last year. And so now maybe there's new opportunities of uh, relationship moving forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and just a reminder to everyone, number one, we'd love to hear from you either in the chat or you can unmute yourself if you have something to share. Um, a feeling or thought or question. And then um, in the chat box, I also have the link for Jess's meditation challenge that we will do here at Banyan starting January 8th. Um, we will have a guided meditation together as a group. And then every day for seven days, you're going to get an email in the morning when you wake up that's going to have your prompt for the day. And it's that's your accountability. And then 
will come together at the end um, is optional at the end on the eighth day to um, to share our experiences but this is in hopes of <clears throat> I am NOT a New Year's resolution person I it irritates me to no end and if you are I apologize I mean you do you boo you do you but for me it's in, in, in clients when I have clients I'm like don't it's a trap why do you why is it a New Year's resolution but we know that, that exists, that mindset, whatever it was. And I'm sure it's some type of capitalism that put that in our minds. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the gems, like, put it in our minds that we have to show up. But, um, but let's do something healthy. And meditation is, meditation is medicine. It's free medicine. So we're hoping that we can help some of you get into a space, you know, you build those healthy habits by showing up and and to also overcome that meditation has to look like you're floating on air and like nothing is in your mind because that's such that's such bullshit like yes meditation is different for everyone and yes. that our hope is that we help you foster that and then lastly we are a nonprofit. some of us have a little bit more than others if you have to give you can donate to um, our our organization. Everything is tax exempt. And also remember, there is no such thing as too small of a donation. So um, if you want to skip a cup of coffee one day and send us over five bucks, it goes right into programming. Yeah. And I'm, you, can, I'm, you can also uh, donate through Amazon Smile through all of yeah. your purchases as well. You can pick Banyan Tree as your um, nonprofit of choice. And we get a little bit of change at the end of the year and i actually want to just celebrate because today was 168 classes it's our last class of 2021 we have given 168 classes in all aspects of wellness to the community the worldwide community so i'm feeling pretty celebratory right now with that that's amazing mel congratulations amazing yeah feeling good and tired <laughs> ready for a break um okay so i see a couple of messages here so i did want to address something real quick for when we do these in the future i was getting messages on the side about um about uh sound everybody's device is different we we sit through a sound check and meticulous or meticulous about this without headsets and with a headset Every de person's device is very different, so suggestions are um, check your speed. Check your check speed. your speed on your computer. Yeah. Check your speed on your computer. Um, volume settings. Unfortunately, it's really hard. There's always going to be a handful of people that are like, I can't hear the same. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do promise we are meticulous about that and trying it on different devices, so we don't just show up and plug in and go. It's good. Um, unfortunately, there's a, a, a million different devices. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. It's a, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard. Um, so I apologize if anybody got stressed with that. And then um, just lots of thanks in the chat box. Yes, thank you everyone so much for your kind words. If you have anything to share about your experience, please feel free. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I had an interesting, can you hear me? Is yes. this Lynn? Is this Lynn? Yes. Lynn. Okay. Hi, Lynn. Um, I had an interesting experience. Um, I was actually quite pleased that I was rooted because I felt myself lifting. And that felt really nice, though, you know, to be not so dense in my body, lighter, but rooted at the same time. And I, I was um, initially I had thoughts going, you know, and thought, oh, Am I ever going to be present for this? You know, but then the presence came and it came as this, um, like, a, firstly, there was this black dot that went away and I tried to follow it, but then it went away. And then this violet kind of light came in very, 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 very small. And then it expanded and then it was like an eye. And then in the eye, uh, this kind of white, blue light came through and then it went back into the into the background again and then the violet kind of color came in again and and and, and then I got this kind of message that the that I'm supposed to be listening for any communications from 
of the cosmos. That was the message that I received. So um, that felt really, really beautiful because uh, I've been, like he was saying, letting go, you know, my intentions aren't matching my old story. So letting go of that story and I've been really wanting to visualize the, the new way of being. And this feels like I'm going to be receiving information on that. So thank you so much. I so appreciate you. Both Lovely. Lynn. Thank you. Thank and you, Lynn. I'm so happy that I've come across Banyan. I didn't even know anything about it until you advertised for the sound healing. And I just kind of happened upon it. So thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Wow. Wow. And also, uh, Lynn, as you're sharing about the violet and the blue light, for me, the violet light is connecting to our, our crown chakra and connecting to our higher self. And that blue coming through is really showing the manifestation zone, the throat, right? And connecting in with your voice as you are receiving message from your higher self and sharing that information from your true self now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I wondered, yeah. I did I did have um, crystals on my body and uh, in my different chakras and, and uh, yeah, that, so that's wonderful. Thank you for that information because I don't really know how to interpret things, but, uh, you know, now you've done it for me. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's why we come together in community to share. Yeah, mm. as soon as she said violet, it was like that's 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 spirit. That's connect. That's everybody thinks that it should be white, but it's typically shown as a violet mm -hmm. when you look at different um, uh, energy centers and energy centers. Mm -hmm. And I see somebody fell asleep. That is okay too, because guess yeah. what? Your body that's what you needed, and you probably received some information in that sleep and some restorative um healing so that's okay that's yeah. okay rest is always encouraged and if you do leave consciousness it's the highest compliment <laughs> uh Bea says my cousin experienced a release of blockage in her throat she must have some things to say then <laughs> hmm. Hmm. does anybody else have anything to share yes hi it's angela Hi, Angela. Hi, Melissa and Jessica. Thank you so much for this meditation. And um, for the past few months, I'm planning on letting go of quite a few things. I've let go of some, and there's one specific one. I was looking at it and I'm saying to myself, it's like coming up 22 years, I need to let go of this now. And um, I'm so happy and grateful now for this this meditation session my experience during this session i'm lying down under my blanket and I'm breathing in deeply and slowly and as jessica says concentrate on the part of your body that's speaking to you i was feeling a bit of a mild pain in my forehead around my third eye area so I started focusing in that area while I'm breathing. And as I breathe and breathe and breathe, and Jessica said to imagine the light coming out your belly, I started feeling like somebody was breathing on my forehead mm. in that area where I was having that, in my third eye area. Mm. And it felt so good. Mm -hmm. I continue breathing and then I feel it like later on on the left side of my forehead. So that was my experience. Mm. Great. Yeah, our left side, thank you, Angela. Our left side is our feminine receiving side and our right side is our masculine releasing side. So if you are feeling something on that side of your body that's telling me that you're working on receiving or allowing yourself to receive, um, more openly and uh, maybe just at all, right? Because some of us are not really open to receiving because of feelings of worthiness, no, which is, go ahead. Saying you're breaking up. Ah, 
Okay. Um, I was saying that sometimes we're not open to receiving because of uh, feelings of worthiness or not feeling good enough to receive those things coming our way. And so that might be something for you to consider moving forward and, and what might be coming for you through message wise that way. Yeah. I didn't get everything that was saying. Is this recorded? It is recorded yeah. and I'm I'm hearing her I'm hearing her clearly, so it is recorded. Yeah, I'm and, not hearing everything. Well, we I can send you the recording. Um I think it's on your end because I'm hearing her very clearly. But I, I do have it recorded, you. so we can you can just email me and ask for it, and we can get it over to you for sure, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't hear everything that Jessica said. Oh, Jess, you're okay. typing. Just put thank you in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it to you. Well, those thank those you. really wonderful um, hearing from everyone. Does anybody else have anything to share? Okay. Uh, we wish you all great health and peace and expansion and sit with this through the day. Maybe revisit it tonight. Sit with yourself. Maybe journal about it. Um, allow, allow things to present themselves to you today. And don't turn your eye away to anything that shows there's beauty and meaning in everything around us. And I hope that this brought some of you some peace and a place to kind of look and we're right at the end of this year. And so it's a great time to really do that inventory for ourselves. What, what are we tethered to or what's tethered to us that just doesn't serve us anymore? How much energy are we giving those things that are tethered to us? Have we, who have we not released? Who, who do we need to say our farewells to and love them from a distance? Who do we need to reconnect with and get closer with, right? So uh, this is a, is a been a tough two years. Um, I don't like to get into the whole virus thing, but it is there and um, there's a new, a new whatever, Omicron, I can't even say it. Uh, we don't know what's ahead of us, but remember that this is medicine. Being in community is medicine. Um, showing up for these types of, of uh, gatherings is so important. Um, even if it is virtual, we, we make the best of it by showing up and being present. So um, Banyan will be here next year, and we have a lot of really great events coming up. Make sure to look at our calendar. Um, show up again you know we're here for you jessica does um private sessions you will get a thank you email with all of her contact information so i do i do really challenge you to how are you going to provide care for yourself how are you going to give yourself that unconditional love um banyan's going to offer you some things that will hopefully help you outside of that um, make sure to prioritize your self-care because you can't yes. you can't give what you don't have right you can't, you can't, you can't give what you don't have. So hopefully your cup's a little bit fuller today and I hope that you take care of yourself and happy new year's. Yeah. Thank you for hosting Mel. Always a pleasure working with you. Always an honor. Thank you everyone. Take care. This um, will be, I will try to get this video up today. It'll be on our YouTube on Banyan. See you later, Candy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye. I love you, too. Love you Have all. Great work. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>